The following is a paid program about home design, remodeling, and construction. So what we want to do is we want to pretty much just gut the whole kitchen just take it down and just start all over in this area, including the pantry. We just kind of want to get rid of everything. Okay. And then we want to put in like an island in this area. So we're thinking, you know, maybe facing this way or facing this way. Okay. Um, get rid of the curvilinear. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And not have it, not have the bar height. Just have it all just all one right. level. Yeah. So yeah, that more way. Workable just, kitchen, more sp workable space. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think the other big thing that's really important to us is to flip the sink and the stove. Um, oh, put the sink in the island? Yeah, okay. yeah, because this is a downdraft, which is really difficult. Mm -hmm. It kind of sets all the flames in. So this pantry, okay. that doesn't have to be there. And we want to take the cabinets to the ceiling also. Yes. Kind of really this definitely calls for that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Jack, do you see any issues with removing the pantry? No, nope, I think no. the pan is non load bearing wall. That's going to be easy. All right. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Also, we'd like to redo the family room okay. area too. Um, the fireplace is just awkward. It's kind of. I mean, Get rid of the wood stove. Make as yeah. a, there's a gas. It could be gas uh, insert. We prefer to have that. Um, and we do like the TV kind of more in this area because the seating area is kind of more to this side. This is kind of more of a, a walkway area. And we also want to get rid of the carpet and the tile. We'd like to do like engineered hardwood throughout the house okay. and kind of keep the flooring consistent. And then besides that, we want to, anywhere where you see all these little arches, we want to get rid of all those arches. Okay. Um, and, and the windows that are in the arches? Yes, please. <laughs> yes. yes. That's Definitely. interesting. I know, I know. I've never seen that in a house before, but. Do you still like the curved um, drywall corners? I think so. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I think that's okay. Okay. So I would say some of these archways, but not, you don't have to keep all of the archways, do yeah. you agree? Yeah. yeah. Just to honor the architecture, but not... Um, Overwhelming. Yeah. Yeah. And not have them everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I know. There's like, there's a lot. <laughs> Space right here. Yeah, so in this area, we just like to get rid of this whole entire area. Um, what we kind of envision um, is this to be taller, maybe cupboards that open, possibly. Storage, good storage uh, space, yeah. Yeah, we, we definitely need storage. Okay. So, and then um, what we'd like to do in the laundry room is do a stacking washer and dryer if we could. Yeah. Uh, with some cupboards. And I wanted to leave, if we can, we'd like to leave a little area on the floor for the cat litter box because we don't have any place to put it right now. Yeah, you know, I bet we could do, um, like we could kind of do it to where it looks like part of the cabinetry, right, Jack? Mm -hmm. That would be great. Really nice. Yeah, that would be great. Because You they're... actually do a lot of those, you'd yeah. be surprised. Do you? Okay, yep. I, I believe yeah, it. It's nice to hide those things away. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> um, you can see when you come into here, that the shower kind of comes out. But basically we want to redo this whole entire room. Gotcha. Yeah. Make this wall will come out, maybe make this the, the door. Look at this thickness. Yeah, it takes a lot of space. Interesting. Yeah, you can totally push your shower out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Without maybe putting the bathtub right, right here um, with a wall or something and have to move this over there, this sink over there. Oh, and yeah. we can get rid of this. I mean, no, she wants this that. is, um, what is this is magic. Well, it's, it's actually for the cats. So actually, you can put the cats in here. <laughs> oh, it probably is for cats, honestly. I have no, oh, yeah, maybe yeah. it was, because yeah. we can't figure out why it's there. Yeah, I'll bet you that that was for the um, The cats to litter. sit. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, maybe so. I didn't think about yeah, that. Yeah, a little flop top so you can get in there and clean it. Oh, good thought. Okay, that could be. Yeah. But it can go. It can go now. All right. <laughs> so you do want to add a bathtub. Yes. Definitely have a bathtub. And there was, there was, they, the owners told us there was uh, plumbing that I didn't. Yeah. Right here. There used to be a bathtub here. Yeah, it was right here. So they took it out. What do you guys think of maybe, since we're extending this out, maybe having a wet room on this side? 
Oh, that would so be that cool. the bathtub is by the window, so yeah. you're not losing the window to move your vanity over. Right. Okay, that's a cool thought. Mm -hmm. We hadn't thought of that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that would be really interesting. See if that can work, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm always yeah. like, what about this? Wait, Jack, can that work? <laughs> yes? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so I'll definitely take into account that, and we'll do something that's like light. I'm feeling like you guys like something a little more natural feeling. Definitely. Um, okay. Yeah. I've got some Very, ideas. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we love that whole organic European natural yeah. stone kind of feel. Okay. Yeah. I'm thinking, so whenever you plan out a kitchen, I don't know if you guys have heard about this, but there's a triangle, right? So it needs to make sense for you and not be right. too far away or too close together to move from your refrigerator your sink and your stove. Okay. So um, I always take that into account when I'm designing a kitchen space. So if we do your stove kind of right there mm -hmm. and then filling in where that door is, we've got counter space and some uppers for some storage and then with switching the gas stove and then the sink, um, the sink being in the island, I know we'll have to mm -hmm. go into the slab to make that happen. Right. Um, do you guys know? I mean, I always worry about post tension, right? Well, I need to check for okay. post tension. We can do it either way, but if we if it is post tension, it's we have to be a lot more careful, and there's a few more steps. I need to go take a look. Mm -hmm. There are basically cables in the floor that are tightened up to help keep the support the house. Mm -hmm. So if you cut them, they can really create some problems. So there's two ways to look. Number one is there's usually a stamp in the garage, so we've got to go take a look at that. But then we can also sort of look around the outside of the house and I can see if I can find some scarring in the footing. So maybe I'll go do that while you guys discuss um, doors and drawers. <laughs> I'll, I'll go with Jack, we'll take a look with him. All right. All right. Well, we get to plan the rest of the kitchen, okay, right? Okay, sounds good. So. You probably know better than I where the, the post-tension markings would be, but I thought it would be over here somewhere. Yep, usually it's over on the left side of the garage. which I don't see. So the trick here is, because it's epoxy, whenever they do the epoxy floor, which is the paint, the first thing they usually do is like fill in all the cracks and put some schmear on there to cover it. So I would suspect if it was here, it's already gone. Yeah. So what I want to do now is I'm going to look on the side of the house to see if maybe there are some little pock marks from where the cables went. Okay, that's a good you idea. You take a look there. That's a little harder to find because they usually do a pretty good job of fixing it. This spot here we can look at. Yeah, so now we're looking at the side of the house. And what I'm looking for is down low where the footing is okay. to see if there's any like repair marks from where the cables came through. Oh, I see. Right? Because that would be another hint that maybe you've got post-tension cables. Yeah, and it looks like it's covered with paint though. It's hard to see, huh? Yeah, I can see the exposed over there. So they probably didn't work the footing too much. Mm -hmm. So chances are that there's no post-tension. There's still another test that we're going to have to do because we haven't been able to eliminate it. Thanks for checking that. That makes sure. a lot of sense what you said. Hey. hey guys. Hey. What'd you find out? I can't tell. So there's epoxy in the garage, so they might have covered up the stamp. Mm -hmm. And I can't see any scarring on the side of the house, so we'll probably have to do an x-ray just to double check. All right. Yeah, it's always better to be safe than sorry with that kind of stuff. Yeah, but don't be worried. We have to, yes, we have to dig the concrete out, but whether it's post-tension or not, it can be done. It's just we have to be a little more a few extra steps if it's post tension, that's all. So when, when you're doing a, a remodel, if you're just removing and replacing stuff, you don't need a permit. Mm -hmm. But to the extent that we're like moving the sink around and moving the electrical around, for an example, that would immediately put you into the need for a permit. And that protects you guys, right? Mm -hmm. it, it protects the contractor, but it's getting inspected and everything. It's just better. And if you ever did sell the house and they can tell that you've improved it, they're probably going to ask you for a permit anyway. Mm -hmm. So it's just important to do it right. But what you can do is begin the process with plans, mm -hmm. get those approved, get them into the city, and then while you're waiting for the city, you can do all kinds of other things like product selection and pick your paint and all those sorts of things. It really depends what type of contractor you pick, but no matter who the contractor, you're gonna have to do all those things. So you can do that while you're waiting for the city. If you're watching this episode and want to apply to be on the show, go to california-contractor.com and fill out an application. Hey. 
Hey, I got here early, so I snuck a peek. Yeah, I've got I've got some ideas. Uh -huh. um, so, let's see. You want to start with? Just tell me your thoughts. Okay. Well, so for that fireplace situation, I want to. Um, make it more linear and center it on the wall. Yep. And I know that there's some some venting that has to happen there. Sure. But that should be fine, right? Yep. It's just a B vent, especially is this going to be like one of those um, low heat, not wood burning, right? Correct. Yeah. Good. That'll make it look nice and modern. But the nice part is, is that's just a simple B vent flue. So we can, um, so we can just elbow it over up top. That's Perfect. no big deal. As long as the TV is flush and we have room back there. Yeah, so my thought is to bump everything out even at okay. the same at the same level with that wall where the powder bath is behind. Yep. And so there's a little bit of space here. Um, yeah. yeah. Mandy. <laughs> hey, how are you? Hi guys. Hey, how are you? I'm good. I just want to see what you guys are doing. Yeah. Whose house is this? This is the Myers. Um, ah. Yeah, Carmen and Ernie. Yeah, this is a big one. Yes. I like this the one. The whole house. Yeah. You ready for that one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is this is a fun one. Yeah. 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 So easy on my trace. I was going to say, <laughs> yeah, I almost said you're going to get in trouble for that. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you can put it on the marble. All right, so tell me how the console went first. How did, uh, how, how did, they, how did they feel about everything so far? I think really good. I mean, they were, they were very um, open with just walking us around. And what I... I always get like a design concept, right? So every every client when I'm going through, there's something, whether it's an element or an idea or a phrase that I run every decision through. And what they kept talking about is like a European feel. We want a European feel. We want it to be more current, but European. This looks this looks awesome. I love this. I love how you can just whip something out really quick. It just <laughs> it's in your mind. Um, so what's the time frame here until you finish the design until we get back over there for that reveal? Because they they are itching to see what you have to yeah, get. Yeah, I mean, together. I've been really working overtime, which is why I'm right here trying to get this all pulled together. Typically, a design takes a bit, yeah. um, but we're, we're really hustling on this one. Plus, all the ideas are just like spinning around in my mind. Um, we don't so have I think time. A, I think a couple yeah, weeks. I don't have a watch. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I don't have time. How, how could you tell? I know. I'm running out of espresso. I'm going to take my Easter jacket. I'm going to go find another espresso. <laughs> Bye, guys. See Bye. You later. Um, so then moving over to the other side of the space. He's such a, he's a hoot. Yeah. Um, so in the kitchen, I want to take that door away. OK. Um, yeah. And, and with that being said, I know she was concerned about the light because we're also going to do away with that garden window. Uh -huh. And my thought is um, with the stove, the way that, do you mind handing me my trace? Sure. Show you at a quick elevation. The don't, way don't I'm, the wet. I know. Oh, let me switch this. I'm thinking for the stove area. So this is that wall where the, where the door is. I'm going to take that door away. So we'll have some uppers, and we'll take it to the ceiling to make it really feel, um, it feel big. Yeah, yeah, and open. And then obviously we have our counter. So where we have the stove and the range, right? And then we have a, a second, she wants a second oven, but she wants counter space okay. on either side of the stove. So I thought to just do it this way. That way we can have counter here and counter here. Stove there and then bring the vent down, right? Mm -hmm. But then I thought flank it with two windows there to bring that light in. Um, th I think that removing the door is a great idea and, and to um, the homeowners, that might sound like a really big deal. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah. And frankly, closing in the door means we have to do stucco. And if we're doing stucco anyways, adding those windows is an, an overwhelming cost. So I think that's great. And it's completely changes the look and it gives them the light. Yeah, right? And light where they cook. Yes. So I think that's an excellent idea. Thanks. Hi guys, I'm glad to be back. How are you? Good. Welcome back. Glad to be back. Good. So we have been working diligently for the last probably almost two weeks now. We've had a whole team working on this. A whole house remodel takes a lot. You'll see with what Mandy's got put together. So we're both very excited for you guys to see what Mandy's um, done. Excellent. So Mandy, do you want to just kind of show everybody? Yes, I'm so excited. We're excited. Um, so we'll start with the area we're in now. Um, 
actually, you know what? You know what? I'm going to switch that. I'm going to start. I'm going to use this as the like crowning jewel at the end. So I'm going to start with your master bath. Okay. So this. Oh, wow. What a transformation, huh? So we walled that off like we talked about yeah. with the pocket door to your closet so okay. that on the other side you can have a lot more storage. Mm -hmm. So we did a wet room kind of like we yeah. talked about to help save space. That's like so different looking. It, That's amazing. I wanted to give you guys like a spa, a sanctuary. Yeah. Um, wow. You know, your, your view out here is so beautiful mm -hmm. that it's like, you know, we talked about even if there's rain glass there, you right. can still get that outside feel. Um, so from there, we'll move on to your laundry space. Oh. And um, first I'll show you kind of what you would see from the hallway area. Oh, that's nice. So we've got some nice uh, storage there for you. It's all yeah. very usable. You can tuck things away. I love that. And then we've got... <laughs> With the cat. The kitty I love space. it. <laughs> I like that. That's awesome. And this is like the magic kitty yeah. litter box thing. I, yeah. was, I thought it was such a neat idea. Some drying racks here. You've got a little utility sink there. So after you take care of kitty stuff right by the door there, and then you can wash your hands and it's all self-contained. Oh, that's nice. That's Very great. Nice. Love yeah, that. Like that. I always say um, interior design is where um, form meets function. Right. right. Yeah. And that was kind of a challenging room just because it's kind yes. of small. So let me. So this is the space we're sitting in now. That's really nice. Oh yeah. Door is gone. I'm nice not gonna and kitchen open. Like that. Oh, and you got the two windows in. Thank you. Yeah, I know that you guys kept saying, you know, kind of that European feel, something that's right. timeless, like European. Yeah. This is so great. It's like walking through the room. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. I like the slab too. I like that color. Yeah, I do too. It's one of my favorites. It's a quartzite. So I know we talked about, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. you know, having something that's a natural stone, right. keeping it natural, but you wanted something durable. And so that is the most dense natural stone that there is. Um, and then Jack, you see how we, when we were talking about this space here and you said, oh yeah, you can definitely pop into this and take yep. advantage of this space. So we fully did that. Um, Looks really good. That's good balance to it. Yeah. yeah. I like how you balance it with the pictures and the artwork. That was always something like, I didn't know how to figure yeah. out with that. Really nice just to have it balanced. And, yeah. Yeah. Not off center and like the, it is now. The flooring too, taking up the carpet with the, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. now being in this uh, constrictive room basically opens it up. Yeah. And I used that wood flooring that you had found that you loved so much. Oh, you did? So okay. that's what we used. Mm -hmm. These are the countertop materials for the bathroom. And what kind of material is it? It's this? quartzite as well. Oh, that so is I quartzite. went really special with the kitchen and the master. Mm -hmm. I feel like those are the two um, areas to really have a wow piece. Right. And then for the other countertop materials, I have a quartz that's a this supporting. Mm -hmm. So this is the material I was thinking about for, um, at least for if you wanted real wood or if you wanted the wood laminate for uh -huh. the master bath. Um, that's cool. Just because it has a cool texture to it and it has a really nice vibe. And then this is for your main flooring in the master bath as well as on that shower wall. Mm. That's pretty. Is that a porcelain? It's a porcelain, yeah. It's got a lot of nice kind of soft texture to it, mm -hmm. though, doesn't it? This is that wet room flooring. And we were kind of talking um, about, you know, the color of grout that you put in. Grout is what's going to help really accentuate the grip and the, right. and the friction so that when it's wet, it's not slippery. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And so I was thinking brighten it up because then next to that. Oh, yeah, mm. so that the stone mm -hmm. kind of pops out a little bit yeah. more. And it has that you know, that beautiful, just like spa feel to it. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to move this bad boy. Um, so yeah, where, where are you gonna use that? We wanna So know. this is for the fireplace surround. Oh, wow. So it's an aggregate marble, uh -huh. um, and it's actually really reasonably priced, which is miraculous, because it's yeah. one of my favorite stone tiles I've ever seen. Like I laid eyes on it and I was like, <gasps> that's perfect. <laughs> The colors are really pretty in it. It's got a little bit of cool, a little bit of warmth. And then this is the, um, it's a black walnut um, okay. that I was thinking for the fireplace mantle, that beam, oh. that floating beam mantle. Wow, that's really pretty. Mm -hmm. I love that. Um, and then for the kitchen, so this is that countertop that you like so much, Ernie. Mm, that's very nice. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really pretty. And then... The variation that you see in that backsplash tile uh -huh. 
it's this line that it's different shades of white. Oh, wow. That's really pretty. It feels very handmade. It feels very European. Yeah. Um, it feels like you would see that. Mm. Yeah. You know. Beautiful. That's what I've got there for you. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. I love it. I'm Kudos. so glad. Yeah, just and things we hadn't even considered. Would have never thought to do. Yeah. I couldn't get past a stack stone. <laughs> <That's right>. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do, right? We right. were stuck. And then the, just the spacing of this, this particular area, just I couldn't figure that out, but that's a really good idea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's the thing with construction, right? Sometimes people think um, things, they exclude ideas because they think it's going to be yeah. way too expensive mm -hmm. and way difficult when maybe they're not such a big deal. But homeowners, believe it or not, do exactly the opposite. They'll also do something that to them is like, well, it's no big deal, we'll just move the sink without realizing that it's very involved. Right. And so that's where the combination between construction and design right. is going to help you stay in budget. Right. Right. But when you have all the right professionals, then we can give you the good advice so you can make those choices. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good point. Yeah, yeah, I think we just thought about the fireplace kind of had to stay there because we didn't want to have to pay a bunch of money to move and redo the fireplace flue and everything. Right. Sure. So as you progress through the construction phase of this, what you're going to want to do is make sure you're still consulting with multiple experts because sometimes one expert in one area thinks that they can be an expert in all. We need the right people in the right place without having a team of 20, right? right? Yeah. We're available for whatever you might need and selecting a contractor and selecting a designer and just helping you get through this space. But you know, we're always going to be here to help with whatever you need. Appreciate, appreciate that. that. Yeah, Thank totally. you. I'm excited for you guys. You'll have to send me a picture when it's done. Definitely. Yeah. Hopefully okay. it looks like what's on the uh, rendering. Or the yes. Whole, right. <laughs> the video we saw there. Exactly. <laughs> Stay tuned for more California Contractor. Hey, Jeff. Bud. Hey, How man. are you? Good. I see you ordered my favorite lunch. Well, I took the liberty of doing that. Have you ever had one of these? It's called a campfire old fashioned. Ooh, are they smoky? So good. Yum. So good. All right, I want to hear all about it. it went, How did this whole thing go with the Myers? It went great. I, it was a lot of fun. So um, this was an example of somebody that had hired a designer okay. to do some work in their house, but it turns out they needed some construction advice and just a little bit more stuff with product selection. So it was a really good, a really good fit. I'm, I'm glad I went. Well, is this something that you see on a rare occasion or is this a pretty common theme? You know what, this happens all the time. So, you know, um, I talk all the time about the importance of hiring the right company for your project. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and there's a reason for that because if you don't know, you just don't know. So this because of the scope of the project and they didn't know where to start, they thought, well, let's start with design, which is a good place to start, right? Cool but course, because yeah. they want to knock down some, um, the door and they want to do some things with the fireplace, there's construction stuff that maybe would have been better served with a design build firm in their case. So it was nice to see them get back on track. Well, I can't wait to show you the project for next week yep. that you're going to help out with. You're going to get them back on track. It's going nice. to be a lot of fun. Nice. I love it. You. All right. Okay. Cheers. Another Cheers. one down. A lot more to go. Yeah, we'll do it again tomorrow. Do you want to win a two-night staycation for a family of four? Of course you do. To enter, simply visit california-contractor.com.